Good afternoon. Welcome to this change of responsibility ceremony. We're at a Medical Center of Excellence, Command Chief Warrant Officer, Chief Warrant Officer 5, Deanna L. Hughes, will relinquish responsibility to Chief Warrant Officer 5, Lee B. Nelson. In the official party are the hosts for today's ceremony, the United States Army Medical Center of Excellence, Commanding General, Brigadier General, Clinton K. Murray, Chief Warrant Officer 5, Hughes, and Chief Warrant Officer 5, Nelson. At this time, the Medical Center of Excellence Drill Sergeant of the Year, Drill Sergeant Angel Rangel Garcia, is presenting a gift to the spouse of Chief Hughes, Brian. and is also presenting flowers to the spouse of Chief Nelson, Debbie and their daughter, Eliana. Please stand for the arrival of the official party and remain standing for honors, the singing of the national anthem and the invocation given by Chaplain Damian Harper. So proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watch were so gallant streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled but not yet I invite you to pray in your own faith tradition as I'll do in mine. Let us pray. Humble God, I approach your throne and invoke your presence and blessing and this change of responsibility ceremony for the Medical Center of Excellent Chief Warren Officer. Your word teaches us that when the right persons are in leadership, those who they lead flourishes. So God, today I ask you to turn your face towards this ceremony and bless Almighty God, Chief Warren Officer Dana Hughes, as she relinquished command to Chief Warren Officer Lee. I thank you for the leadership and the technical expertise that Chief Hughes have, have provided. The impact of her leadership will forever be imprinted in the many lives she influenced during her time here at the Medical Center of Excellence. 
I pray for your divine blessing and steadfast protection on her and her family as they move on to the new chapter in their life. May your peace, Almighty God, be with them and prosper them wherever they go. I thank you for Chief Warren Officer Nelson, who will take on the responsibility of providing technical and proficient leadership to the Medical Center of Excellence. May you grant him wisdom and courage as he will need it. And when the rough times arise, God, I ask that you be his anchor, security, and source of strength. Bless and strengthen his family and cause your impact to enable the Medical Center of Excellence to be successful at its mission. Continue to hold in strength, Almighty God, the Medical Center of Excellence, and continue to bless and protect the United States of America. This I ask in your holy name. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Thank you, Drill Sergeant Cordell Foster, for that beautiful rendition of the National Anthem, and Chaplain Harper, for that very inspirational invocation. Again, welcome to today's Change of Responsibility Ceremony. We extend a warm welcome to Mr. Joseph Holland, Medical Center of Excellence, Deputy to the Commanding General, Command Sergeant Major Victor Larigioni, Command Sergeant Major, United States Army Medical Center of Excellence, and spouse, Ms. Crystal Larigioni. Command Sergeant Major Stephen Helton, United States Army Combines Arms Center, Command Sergeant Major. Chief Warrant Officer 5, Danny Taylor, United States Army Combines, Combined Support Command. Chief Warrant Officer 5, Stephen Finney, United States Army Special Operations Command. Chief Warrant Officer. Chief Warrant Officer 5, Sam Garopo, United States Army North, Command Chief Warrant Officer. Chief Warrant Officer 5, Mark Bryant, United States Army South, Command Chief Warrant Officer. Colonel Mark Stackle, Commander, Brook Army Medical Center. Command Sergeant Major Deidre Blash, Command Sergeant Major, Brook Army Medical Center. Command Master Chief, Veronica Brittenham, Naval Medical Forces Development Command. Mrs. Leanne Murray, spouse of the presiding official, Brigadier General. Clinton K. Murray, Command Chief Warrant Officers, Chief Warrant Officers of the Branches, Senior Warrant Officer Advisors, Members of the Warrant Officer Cohort, Command Teams, Soldiers, Civilians, the Medical Center of Excellence family, and those watching virtually. And an especially warm welcome to Chief Warrant Officer 5 Hughes' spouse, Colonel Retired, Brian Hughes, her mentor and friends in attendance, Chief Warrant Officer 5 Retired Curtis Randolph and Lieutenant Colonel Retired Paulette Randolph, Colonel Retired Jill Henderson, Lieutenant Colonel Retired Marty Staney, and Lieutenant Colonel Retired Judy Martinez. Chief Warrant Officer 5 Nelson's family, his wife. Chief Warrant Officer 4 Retired Debbie Nelson and their children, daughter Eliana, son Brandon, Chief Nelson's parents, Greg and Leslie Nelson his mother-in-law, Miss Anna Nash, and Mr. Kendall McKnight. I also want to acknowledge the members of the Hughes and Nelson families who were unable to join us for this occasion today. The Change of Responsibility Ceremony is a simple and traditional event that is rich with symbolism and heritage. Key to this ceremony is the transfer of position and responsibility from Chief Warrant Officer 5 Hughes to Chief Warrant Officer 5 Nelson. Since the earliest of times, commanders have dele dele delegated to soldiers special duties in assignments of immense responsibility. The Command Chief Warrant Officer is the Senior Warrant Officer in the Medical Center of Excellence and is a primary member of the Medical Se Center of Excellence Command Team, who serves as the advisor to the Commanding General on technical issues pertaining to policies, programs, and actions impacting the command. The command chief warrant officer provides competent and experienced technical expertise and advice to the command group, staff, and subordinate commands to ensure mission accomplishment through the execution of mission command. The Medical Center of Excellence Command Chief Warrant Officer Charter charges her or him to provide technical guidance for the development of future Medical Center of Excellence organizations medical activities, and technical capabilities, assist the staff and commanders by providing oversight of the Warrant Officer Talent Management 
and serve as a member of the Army Senior Warrant Officer Council. The Sabre Model 1902 is approved for wear by all Army officers, and the knot attached to the Sabre represents the practical, technical skills of the Army Warrant Officer. This particular blade was forged in honor of the centennial of the Army Warrant Officer commemorating 100 years of service to our nation from 1918 to 2018. At this time, the official party will come forward and conduct the change of responsibility. Chief Warrant Officer 5 use on sheets and inspects the blade to ensure that it is the standard and ready for service. Once she has ensured the saber is the standard, Chief Hughes will present the saber to Brigadier General Murray as her last act of responsibility, symbolizing the completion of her duties as Command Chief Warrant Officer. General Murray receives the saber and thanks Chief Hughes for her many accomplishments and dedication to the Medical Center of Excellence. Chief Warrant Officer 5 Hughes, you have faithfully executed the duties of your office. Your service is marked with distinction, dignity, dedication, and devotion. Your leadership to the command's warrant officers and soldiers and the sound guidance to the command's officers and civilians has been of the finest quality. As the first Medical Center of Excellence Command Chief Warrant Officer, you have upheld the traditions and customs of the command to the highest standard and fulfilled your duties with honor. You are hereby released from your duties, effective 12 July, 2024. General Murray presents the saber to Chief Warrant Officer 5 Nelson, charging him with responsibilities as the second United States Army Medical Center of Excellence Command Chief Warrant Officer. Chief Nelson inspects the blade for serviceability, sheets and returns the saber to its stand, symbolizing his assumption of duties as Command Chief Warrant Officer. <laughs> Chief Warrant Officer 5 Nelson, you are hereby appointed on this 12th day of July as the United States Army Medical Center of Excellence Command Chief Warrant Officer. I am now honored to present the host for today's ceremony, the Medical Center of Excellence Commanding General, Brigadier General Clinton K. Murray. So it, uh, it really is an honor to be here for, the, uh, for, for an, in, an incredibly important event. Uh, but, but it's really exciting because this is truly a historical event because this is the, the first time we've had a command chief warrant officer, uh, and actually the first time we've had a change of responsibility, which meant there was an awful lot of YouTube watching, seeing how this actually happened. There was no script, there was nothing out there. Uh, so the team who pulled this together uh, learned all those lessons from YouTube uh, to be able to, to make this such a great uh, ceremony. Th thank you all very much for doing that. Uh, it really was a great job. And then to, to recognize the Air Force Band, you'll always look top notch in that outfit, uh, and you just did a great job as always. And then what, what an amazing rendition of the national anthem. Thank you, thank you very much. I think we all always want to clap at the end. And, you know, protocol is like, eh, you're not supposed to do that. But I think I'm just going to start clapping from now on uh, and just get away with it. But, but truly, tr truly impressive. It was really great. Uh, and then I especially want to welcome the families. Uh, Brian, thank you, thank you for being here. Thank, thank you for, for your years of service and just your incredible support. 
uh, of GPU. It's been very, very special. Uh, and, and your kids couldn't make it, but uh, I'm sure they're both working, on, watching online. Uh, so, so Kyle is in a 10 Special Forces group. I'm not sure where he is. He's probably somewhere. Probably can't talk about it, um, but probably having a good time. And then their other son, uh, Jacob, is actually a senior in college doing, going through ROTC. Also will be in the infantry. Also hopes to go SF long term. So, so congratulations and uh, just a great family. And then uh, welcoming the Nelson family. He's here with his, his amazing wife, Debbie, who's also in her own right served an incredible career in the Army, uh, finishing off as a CW4, uh, now a nurse, having just great fun in all sorts of other places. And then uh, their two kids, uh, Eliana and um, Brandon, thank you for being here. Uh, really appreciate it. And uh, mom and dad, and then uh, mother-in-law and great friends. Uh, it's just great to make it a family affair. affair. We, we always say you, you recruit the, the, the soldier, but you retain the family. Uh, and when you talk about careers as long as they've been, it's, it's a family challenge. The number of deployments, they both lived in Korea, they both lived in Europe, they both been uh, down, downrange with the war on terrorism, whether it was Kuwait or Iraq or Afghanistan, and they just have an, a wealth of experience. But it's the families that have to move through all that. So, so thank you very much. So, so this... As, as you can figure out, this is my first time to do a change of responsibility for, for the warrant. So the first thing I want to do is, it's the 106th anniversary of the warrants, the 9th of July, um, and there's like a big party tonight, I've heard. So if all the warrants in the room can stand up. I've never seen this many warrants at once. I just want to show it. Yeah. Thanks. Y'all can have a seat. And truthfully, we, we only have seven warrants in all of Army medicine. So that's Compo 1, Active Component, National Guard and Reserve. So two of the seven are actually up here today. But that also tells you how impressive these two are, because they are two of seven in the entire Army medicine environment. Um, and it's exciting to have you both here at once and really just recognize your incredible expertise. Uh, I actually thought I understood the Warren space. Is it is an infectious disease doc who spent 20 plus years at BAMC. The role of them in, in sort of the biomed maintenance is, is clearly obvious. BAMC doesn't run. Hospitals don't run. Clinics don't run without that Warren expertise because they really are that link from sort of the enlisted folks and the officer folks making sure they get that technical expertise between them. So I, I thought I, I appreciated that. And as an infectious disease doc, I'm always worried about the water I drink and the food I eat. So the other warrants we have are vet warrants, and that's what they do. But when I got here, I actually got to see what warrants actually do. And the level of work that they do at that high strategic force comm, Army Materiel Command, TRADOC, up and down is truly impressive. And I did not appreciate the impact you have across the Army, Army Medicine and the Joint Force, and actually our allies and partners is really second to none. Um, so thank you very much. So I actually did a little homework to figure this out. I think, based upon the Warrants webpage, is, is Warrants have been around since the Napoleonic era, so a bit. In the Army, I think the first warrant were actually headquarters clerks. They weren't formally warrants, but that's probably where it started. And then truthfully, in 1918, 106 years ago, uh, last week, uh, is when Warrants came into existence, and I think they were mine planters, which is sort of an interesting word to me. Anyway, um, for us, our first warrants, again, med maintenance, was in 1956. In 1971, actually, all of our physician assistants were warrants. Um, I came into the Army in 1992. That was the year warrants transition, uh, PAs transitioned from warrants to officers. So most of my PAs, my first four or five years, were actually all warrants. The, the person I deployed to Ramadi, Iraq with was at 18 Delta, so a Special Forces medic, who was then a PA as a warrant, eventually became a nephrologist, crazy career. Um, but that's the world I grew up in, was really understanding that. And then in 1981, our vet warrants came into existence. But what you can see is over the last few years is the expertise at the most senior leader levels. And that's what Chief Fuse did. She showed up here as a CW5 down at the schoolhouse and realized that there was an absolute gap at the senior leader medical center of excellence inside that TRADOC space. And she pushed into it just like every great leader and follower does. She saw a gap, understood that we needed to address it, and did. 
and very quickly, informally, became the Senior Warrant Officer Advisor. I think, I'm not sure how you say SWALA, but that, I think, is what it is. And then, and then because she was doing so well, I think you were the acting, slash, in name-ish only, uh, Command Chief Warrant Officer. And then finally, that became a formal title because we recognized how impactful it is. But that wouldn't have happened without her. And you can just look through her career that that's how it was going to be. You can look at her and listening in 1991 to become a med maintenance person, got out for a couple years, clearly saw the light because she was actually born in Germany. That tells you how army she is. Um, came back to actually be a whiskey for a bit. And then in 2004, actually went to Warren School. And since 05 has been a Warren. It has really led at every level, has been in every place you can imagine. And thank you. Th thank you for that leadership. Thank you for your followership. And thank you for just being an amazing person. You will truly be missed. We love your infectious personality. We, we appreciate how you lead and how you've changed the organization is impressive. And best of luck. She's going to be another first. Her next job, I'm not sure when you're going to take uh, this next position, uh, will be as the chief uh, command chief warrant officer for MedCom. So top dog for the entire MedCom. And I expect her to be the chief for the Army in about four years after that. No pressure, no pressure. Um, but best of luck. But we are also very incredibly uh, excited to welcome uh, Chief Nelson. Uh, it's the same experience. If you read through his bio, you can see, again, time in Korea, time in Germany. Clearly has worked all over the U.S., has deployed uh, numerous times to, to combat zones. And most recently, has spent a fair bit of time in Korea, but then up at Fort Detrick. And if you've ever been to Fort Detrick, if you don't get his expertise right at the Fort Detrick right, well, Army medicine actually falls apart, and he's led in that area. And for you to come here now and to be ju just in the pinnacle of linking the operational space, the clinical space, with the educational space, space moving into TRADOC, FORCECOM, AMC, MEDCOM, it's the perfect time for you to be here. Uh, and I, I, I look forward to working with you and just excited to see what you do next. So best of luck. So again, thank you all very much for coming. Uh, it really is a historical day, and it's because of these two folks. Um, and best of luck as you move forward. Let's give them a round of applause. Ladies and gentlemen, the former Medical Center of Excellence Command Chief Warrant Officer, Chief Warrant Officer 5, Deanna L. Hughes, Wow, it's such an honor to be standing here today, General Murray. Thank you for the kind and generous words. Really, probably overly generous, but I do appreciate that. I'll take all that I can get. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, General Murray, Mrs. Murray, Command Sergeant Major Larangioni, Mrs. Larangioni, Mr. Holland, thank you for your unwavering support. To my fellow CCWOs and Chief Warrant Officer Fives, distinguished guests, fellow Warrant Officers, civilians, soldiers, sailors, airmen, friends, and family. Thank you for being here today, both in person and virtually. A special thank you to the R North CCWO, Chief Warrant Officer 5, Narapu, for generously dedicating your Warrant Officer Professional Development Day and time to support the Medical Center of Excellence. Ever since I have known you, you have unfailingly helped whenever needed. Drill Sergeant Foster, and to the Air Force Band of the West, you are shining examples of the amazing talent that is weaved throughout the, the Department of Defense. Simply amazing. Thank you. Chaplain Harper, thank you for your blessing and for reminding us that all things are done through the Spirit of the Lord. My most humble gratitude to General LeMaster and Mr. Harmon, who took a chance on this vision of creating a Command Chief Warrant Officer position at the Medical Center of Excellence. To General Talley, who safeguarded it and understood the evolving needs of this organization and his recognition of the vital contributions of warrant officers to our mission. And of course, to General Murray for fully accepting the CCWO position into the command team and entrusting me to shape and define this role. This has been one of the most amazing and rewarding positions of my career. So our Major Larangioni, who would have thought 20 years ago we would serve in the same command team <clears throat> you as the command sergeant major and me as the command chief warrant officer. The Army really is as small as they say. So I thank you for your steadfast support and the sound counsel. 
just so everybody knows, we were staff sergeants together. He taught me everything I know, so if I screw it all up, <laughs> there he is. Today marks a significant milestone in my career and in the life of this unit as I stand before you for the last time as your Command Chief Warrant Officer. It is with mixed emotions that I reflect on the journey that we have shared. I'm excited about changing the guard to a second CCWO. For the first CCWO is great and special, but it really comes down to the second, third, fourth, when the helm is taken and the position is truly codified. I feel pride and fulfillment on what has been accomplished and a little sadness that I'll be leaving a team as great and as fun as this one. But mostly I am proud of the remarkable achievements we have accomplished together. Working across the priorities of the Chief of Staff of the Army and of our Surgeon General, we have modernized Warrant Officer PME, overhauled how we conduct Warrant Officer accessions. We've pulled the levers provided to us by TRADOC and CAC to assess and select candidates on a merit-based platform resulting in critical Warrant Officer vacancies being filled for the first time in decades across all compos. This March marks a third year in a row that we will fill the Medical Service Warrant Officer basic course to full capacity with Warrant Officers from Compos 1, 2, and 3. We've completed assessments of medical device sustainment challenges, risks, and requirements across the divisions in support of the Army of 2030. And we were integral members of the Medlog and campaigning effort aimed at aligning and integrating medical logistics into the broader Army sustainment enterprise and so much more. However, I believe our greatest achievement in establishing a Medical Center of Excellence CCWO position is the integration of this position into a super web of 17 Warrant Officer branches comprised of nearly 28,000 Warrant Officers across the Army. This strategic alignment taps into a robust communication network supporting the technology needs at the speed of relevance for the Army medicine to conserve the fighting strength. As I pass the saber to Chief Nelson, I did so with great confidence. Lee, you bring a wealth of knowledge, experience, and a fresh perspective that will undoubtedly propel this position to even greater heights. You embody true professionalism. I promise you, you have won the assignment lottery. I'm proud to call you a teammate and a friend. Debbie, Aliana, and Brandon, welcome to the team. Thank you for your selflessness and willingness to pack up your lives and move across country. Your support is center stage in your husband's and your father's success. It's impossible to thank everyone by name. We'd be here all day because the credit for the success of this position goes to so many. To the, but to the GED staffs and the administrative staffs, to all those who have supported and developed this role. I fully recognize that this position is not about me, nor has it ever been. It is about all of us. Your willingness to embrace this change, to offer your guidance, and to work alongside me is testament that we are stronger when we support one another. The spirit of unity and cooperation is how we pave the way for innovation and excellence. CW5 Nelson will continue to rely on your support and partnership as you move forward. Before I close, I want to express my gratitude and love for my family and friends who inspire me to be brave and fearless. My respect and admiration for you is limitless. My husband, Brian, is the very best partner I could ever have dreamed for. His unwavering support for anything I do, personally or professionally, is the reason I am standing here today. The respect and love I have for our children, Kyle, Jacob, Brooke, and our granddaughter, Ryan Elizabeth, drives me to ensure the legacy I leave for them is one that they will be proud of. Thank you. May God bless America and each and every one of you. As my mentor says, as iron sharpens iron, soldiers shall sharpen one another. Conserve fighting strength. Chief out. I now present the Medical Center of Excellence Command Chief Warrant Officer, Chief Warrant Officer 5 Nelson. Good afternoon, distinguished guests, friends, and family. First, I'd like to thank the team that put, toge uh, put together today's event. Chaplain Harper, thank you for those words of inspiration. And, Sar er, and Drill Sergeant Foster, thank you for that beautiful rendition of the Star Spangled Banner. I stand before you today deeply humbled and honored to accept the responsibility of Command Chief Warrant Officer for the Medical Center of Excellence. 
I'm grateful to Brigadier General Murray for placing his trust in me to fill this critical role. I also want to thank CW5 Deanna Hughes for her exceptional leadership as the outgoing CCWO and for the warm welcome she's given me. First and foremost, I want to thank my family, Debbie, Eliana, Brandon. Your unwavering support and love are the foundation upon which I stand. This achievement is as much yours as it is mine. I could not take on this challenge without knowing you're behind me every step of the way. To my parents, thank you for coming all the way from Virginia for this day. And to all our friends and family who traveled or are watching from home, thank you for your continued support. I follow in the footsteps of an exceptional leader. CW5 Hughes, her vision and initiatives have set a high standard. I pledge to each of you to build upon her successes, to listen, and that I will work tirelessly to address the challenges that we face as a team. To the, the MedCOE is a special place, and as your Command Chief Warrant Officer, I'm committed to supporting the MedCOE's mission and vision. I look forward to working with each of you to help develop leaders, to drive change, and to inform Army medicine. I'm excited to be involved in the development of our people and to care for our soldiers, civilians, and families. I look forward to joining this culture of excellence, inclusivity, and respect that the MedCOE has and plan to be a visible and approachable leader. I will always put the needs of the team first. I ask your support as we work together to support the medical COE mission and vision. Army medicine starts here, combat ready care, this will defend. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand and join us in singing the Army song. The words to the Army song are printed on the back cover of your program. March along, sing our song, we're the army of the free. Count the brave, count the true, who fought to victory. We're the army, we're proud of our name. We're the army and proudly proclaim. First to fight for the right and to build a nation's might. And the army goes rolling along. Proud of all we have done, fight until the battle's won. And the army goes rolling along. Then it's high, high, hey, the army's on its way. Count up the cadence loud and strong. For here we go, you will always know that the army goes rolling along. This concludes today's ceremony. You're all invited to congratulate Chief Warrant Officer 5 Nelson and join him for light refreshments across the breezeway. Chief Warrant Officer 5 Hughes will return to the front of the stage where you may say farewell before she departs. Thank you all for attending today's ceremony. Conserve the fighting strength. Be all you can be.